In this video tutorial, some examples will be shown to demonstrate math functions in LabVIEW. In this first VI, as demonstrated by this front panel, two dies are thrown and the sum is displayed. If the sum is equal to 7, the win LED is on, otherwise the lose LED is on. Now let us see how we can construct the code of this front panel within the block diagram. First we need a while loop. The while loop is slowed down by this wait function. Now we construct the code that simulates the throwing of the first die. First we need to get the rand function. Right click, arithmetic, go to numeric and here we have the random number. This random number generates a random floating point between 0 and 1. Next we need to multiply the output of this function by 5 to give us a random floating point value between 0 and 5. Now we use the round off function to give at the output a random integer between 0 and 5. Finally, we add 1 at the output to give a random integer between 1 and 6. We repeat this for the second die. Now we add the outputs to get the sum. The sum is now compared with 7, where the win LED is on if sum is equal to 7, or the lose LED is on if sum is not equal to 7. Now we run the code and observe the output on the front panel. The next VI demonstrates the graphing capabilities of LabVIEW. This front panel simulates a simple oscilloscope that displays a sinusoid. The frequency can be varied by this control knob. The plotting speed of the wave can be varied by this knob. Now let's see how we can construct the code for this VI. First we need to get the sine function. Right click, arithmetic, go to math, trigonometric and here we choose the sine function. The input of the sine function will be i multiplied by some variable generated by a control object in the form of a knob. The output of the sine function will be displayed on a graph indicator. In the front panel we need to get the graph indicator. Right click, graph, then we choose chart. This waveform chart is suitable for displaying signals, namely amplitude against time. Now in the block diagram we need to connect the output of the sine function into the waveform chart. We can slow down the plotting speed of the sinusoid by connecting to the weight function a control knob. Running the code we observe the output, we can see that the speed can be controlled by this knob. And also we can control the frequency of the sinusoid through this frequency knob. In this last example, I'll demonstrate the math logic operations within LabVIEW. Consider this simple combinational logic circuitry. The truth table for this circuit is shown here. We want to simulate this logic circuitry using LabVIEW. Within the while loop, we need to insert the AND OR gates found in the Boolean library. First we get the AND gate, right click, arithmetic, go to Boolean, 
and here we choose the AND gate. Next we get the OR gate. The binary inputs A, B and C will be obtained using these Boolean switches. These switches are connected to the combination logic circuitry and the binary output D is then displayed using the LED indicator. Now let's check the front panel and see the program running. Let's verify the truth table. In conclusion, any digital circuitry can be easily simulated via a LabVIEW VI. This concludes this video tutorial.